and with me is Susan Schwartz. She is the historian. She knows all about the people who are buried here at Historic Fairview Cemetery. She knows where the bodies are buried and the stories behind them. And Susan, you're going to be leading us on a tour of the cemetery on Sunday morning, October 22nd, 2017. And we're going to give you a little preview here of what we're going to look at on the morning of the tour. So Susan, how did this cemetery come to be here? Well, back in the 1880s, this area, to give you a little bit of history, was a very rugged, desolate area. It was full of sand hills and uh, no one lived out here. And when the railroad came in in 1881, um, people started living out here and as life happens, their loved ones and friends would pass away. So we found burials out here in 1881, documented burials of people burying their loved ones, just a little here and a little there. Um, the cemetery was never intended to be here by the local community. So the Albuquerque Cemetery Association was formed and they made that, they turned it into a cemetery at that point, established about 1883. In a cemetery, it's a history of your community. As you look around um, and you pass by graves, you'll see names of people names on street signs of people that are buried here, names on buildings of people that are buried here, and businesses. So the cemetery itself becomes its own community. And the five years being out here, um, well, 14 years, excuse me, not five years. <laughs> There's a, five generations or better of people that are buried in the historic side. And as this is filled up with 12,000 burials, um, they then are now being buried, the descendants, in the perpetual care side. Here on the tour, I would like to show you a few graves of some of our local businesses. One of the family plots is the Dietz family plots from Dietz Farm. The Dietz family started off on the East Coast in the 1840s or 50s uh, with kerosene lamps. I think a lot of us have these kerosene lamps that we lit up during emergencies or the railroad use the lamps um, up and down the railroad tracks in the old days. Well, they came out here because of tuberculosis, just like 25% er, of our burials out here are TB victims. So the Dietz family came out here, they bought land and started Dietz Farm. And this is the Dietz family plot. We have two mausoleums in the historic side of Fairview. One of them is Herbert and Celeste Gallus. I think most people that are local Albuquerqueans will know the name from Gallus um, car dealership. He was one of the first men to bring cars into Albuquerque and then his dealership lasted for over a hundred years. These beautifully carved stones that you see are from the Woodman of the World. We have quite a few here. There's a row of them here besides this one. They are from an insurance and investment company. When they started, from what I understand, when I spoke with them, they gave the, their employees that passed away these beautiful carved headstones. Also, just to mention, we have two Masonic sections with Masonic stones and one um, independent order of Odd Fellows for the Rebecca um, female part of the Independent Order of Odd Fellows, also located in this cemetery. So the tour will be at 10 a.m. on Sunday morning, October 22nd. Fairview Cemetery is at 700 Yale Boulevard Southeast, and you'll want to go to the established gates for the perpetual care side of the cemetery, and then drive through toward the, uh, there's a little office house in the cemetery, and then you'll see an opening to come to the historic area. Make sure you wear sturdy footwear. You don't want to pick up the stickers that are all over the place here. And make sure you stay on the roadways because this area has been known to have graves collapse. So you want to be careful while you're on the tour. But it'll be great. Check out all of the information 
for the Before I Die Festival at beforeidieabq.com and we look forward to seeing you out here.